Yeah. 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 How are you, Denise? Yeah. Yes, we do. Come on in, Greg. Melinda Schmeiser. Melinda, we so, thank you so much for good morning. being with us. Yeah, what was your name? Morning. Chris Grimshaw. I'm the group speaker today. Hi, Chris. Nice to meet you. Now, now we're asking you not to videotape. I know the statesman's here. Is that correct? The purpose of requesting you to schedule a town hall meeting the week of February 20th through the 24th so that we, your constituents, can discuss with you your positions and your views on a number of very important matters. Uh, we are here independently but in sympathy with everybody else. We are from the Great Old Broads for Wilderness. And we are here to thank, thank Representative Simpson. We have brought goodies for your oh, office because we know you have been deluged. Um, these are made by us. They were paid. So they are outside agitators. Um, and you can How eat wonderful. them. Thank and you. if you don't trust them, pass out a few to these <laughs> <laughs> I'm deeply concerned about the if, if we do move towards the stated DeVos model of uh, for-profit charter schools and voucher systems, that is going to completely disenfranchise uh, rural children in Idaho. You know, there is no profit incentive to service a couple kids in you know rural area of Idaho. There, there just isn't, mm -hmm. and it is our it is a fundamental bedrock of our democracy that we provide free appropriate democratic education to every child. And thank you for your patience and your graciousness. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm sorry we don't have more space available here. <laughs> That's why we're making a town hall meeting. <laughs> yeah, at a town hall meeting, that would be more space. <laughs> okay, thank yes. you. But thanks for coming by. Yeah, thank you. We started thank a conversation so with a focus on environmental protection, and I guess I would remind uh, the representative that just as uh, the former Republican governor of Washington, John Evans, has uh, observed, the root word, the root word of conservative is conserve, and we want him to vote in favor of conservation of the wonderful natural resources that Idaho is all about, and that would not include a consideration of Mr. Pruitt, who is spectacularly unqualified for this position. He wouldn't make the first cut if you were applying for a similar position in business and industry. Therefore, we need a, an in-depth scrutinization of his qualifications for this position. Yeah. Thank you. You're here. Thank mm -hmm. you guys yeah. so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. you know, the key thing, of course, is we want to have a town hall meeting. Mm -hmm. But uh, the second part of this request is about a voting against uh, Scott Pruitt to be the environmental EPA director. Okay. The bottom line is Pruitt is somebody who is absolutely against the EPA. His stated thing is to get rid of them, and that's who, you know, is now going to be in charge of the EPA. Right. Um, and the one thing I would like to throw out, um, I don't know, Raise your hand if you know about the earthquakes in Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's just the massive amounts of fracking to the point where, you know, buildings are, you know, the fracks yeah, are falling off the buildings. That, yeah. And to, to say, well, that's the price, um, that's just stunning because if that's the price there, then obviously, you know, What's the next price? Yeah, right? you know, what else is there? Right. The Senate's second ranking Republican, John Cronin, and other GOP senators, including Roy Blunt, uh, are calling for an investigation into connections between President Donald Trump and Russia and want the former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn to testify. My question is do you believe? that Senator Crapo will join these senators in calling for an investigation and will they want and are they are able to call for and see Trump's tax returns that will show us how complicit he is with Russia in various deals. I have not heard about any of the things well, it you're just talking came out about. Like yeah, so. But I'm, I'm just wondering if you think well, that's I, something Senator Crapo... There would certainly be, you know, the Congress as, as a separate branch of the government will, of course, be looking into these things. I can't give you a timetable or when it's going to happen or what Senator Crapo's involvement will be. That, that's probably Yeah, we'll look into the report. I think sure. this brings up the reason most people are here. A lot of these people have never been involved in politics before, never <laughs> attended a town hall meeting, never wrote to anyone, uh, elected officials. But I think citizens everywhere are concerned about the threat to our democracy. 
-hmm. And I think that they are seeing that, and that's something that Republicans, Democrats, mm -hmm. independents, people who have no, um, no affiliation at all, are concerned with the threat to our democracy that is happening. Mm -hmm. And this CONCON thing, the, the mm -hmm. Constitutional Convention, um, is a huge issue. Mm -hmm. My issue, um, a practical thing, what I would like to know is when they are um, repealing and replacing Obamacare, are they going to keep things that, for instance, there's a huge concern about abortion rates and they are at the lowest rate now than they have been. And it's because of, and they've done studies on this statistically, it's because of the access to free, reliable contraception that was included in the ACA. Is that something, because they are anti-abortion slash pro-life, are they going to keep the only thing that has been proven to decrease abortion rates? And I would like to hear an answer I on that. I don't have the answer I know, that. I, I mean, know, but I would well, like to hear that. Well, they are Senate. working on several different plans, as you know, to repeal and replace the ACA. There is no front-running plan right now. Um, there's not even obviously agreement yet on when to repeal. There's been talk about we're going to do it here or there, but there's been no uh, concrete plan, and I will make sure the senator is aware of this. Okay, and they voted to repeal it how many times in the last eight <laughs> the years? House. They had eight years to come yeah. up with something, and now they're just starting mm -hmm. to? That doesn't make sense to practical people who know <laughs> how complicated our healthcare system and our insurance system is. Sure. It doesn't make sense to repeal something having nothing to right. replace it with. Okay. I'm curious. I mean, there is a bigger story behind all of that, and they, they fought the ACA for so long because it was Obamacare. And instead of re repealing and replace, fix it. And they should have been yeah. doing that in the first place. Yeah. That's cooperation. That did not exist. Rising, rising uh, premiums is one thing. No insurance is a totally different. Yes. Right. Uh, so sure. we're willing to jerk the rug out from thousands of people. Millions. 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 And, and my, my insurance went up before because exactly. of the ACA. Been going, so, been I mean, give me a break. Years. This is we're just fed a whole bunch of false well, stories. Let's, let's what fix, is let's your fix the problems okay. instead yeah, don't repeal it. Yeah. Fix just the issues. Just, yeah. Someone over here. Okay. Can you um, please ask Senator Crapo why? You know, no contraceptives for women. Women know this, but Viagra and all the men enhancing drugs are covered right. and yeah. paid for. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, this is a double standard. Yeah. And if you're going to encourage men, then why do the women have to pay for it? Okay. Well, statistically, the best way to reduce the abortion rate is to provide um, planned parent. Well, you know, well, planning, family birth planning, control. Provide family planning. You take that away, abortion rate goes it's, up. It's huge. It's, legal or it's not. everything. Another it, concern um, make sense. that I've heard that is bipartisan is is education mm -hmm. and uh, taking science out of education, not being able to locally. You know, all politics is local, yeah. and they just jerked out the the part about climate change. And I mean, we're not even allowed to talk about that in science. This is the, climate change is real. And the climate change deniers are wrong. Just sure. like you know, they persecuted Galileo because the Catholic Church <laughs> thought that the the Earth, you know, the sun revolved around the Earth. Well, it's the same thing. They are denying something that most Americans and 98% of science scientists agree on that there is climate change and it is human cost. Okay. So. Idaho takes it out of the curriculum. That just doesn't make sense. And Scott and Pruitt just, is yeah. going to take it out of right. the EPA, and this is somebody that Crapo can vote on. Right. I'm very concerned that our state chose not to expand Medicaid that would have covered thousands of children who need medical care in the state of Idaho. And I wonder if Senator Crapo will speak to that issue of family values when it comes to caring about children and families. These are working families that don't make enough money and have never made enough money to be able to afford decent health care. To me, health care is a right. It is not a privilege. 
to me, it, money should not speak to whether or not your child gets health care. And I appreciate him saying, take a look at it. I guess I'd like him to take a family value stance okay. and say, you've had time to look at it. Now it's time to step up to the plate and take care of the children of Idaho. How many people agree with that statement? <laughs> Raise your hand. Okay. All right. We're just getting a. The key difference okay. might be what you said about health care being a, a right and not just a, sort of a luxury. I'm wondering how Senator Crapo or even you, Lindsay, feel about that one. No matter how I feel. I'm <laughs> staff or past. He did. I would like to know his schedule for upcoming town halls since there's been a lot of changes. Sure. We have not set the schedule yet. That's, that's the answer. Um, this is a meeting that has been scheduled by a group of people who want a town hall meeting okay and it is going to be held with or without okay. senators and representatives is my understanding here and what time is it it is at six o'clock at boise state university in jordan I, jordan ballroom in yeah. jordan yeah. ballroom it's been or, reserved yeah february yes. 20th Okay. okay, I've taken, I've written comments down. We send this stuff to D.C. on a daily basis. All of your comments have been registered, including all the town hall meeting requests. Thank you. And the issues I've noted here and starred some of them. And uh, I've done the best I could to take the notes anyway. Thank so, you. Um, the senator will get these directly and uh, we'll get back to you. I, I, I just don't know about the schedule right now. It has not been set. Yeah. We appreciate you listening. Yeah. Yeah. 